Okay, say you've got a uh, PDF like I have here, um, and of course you can save a PDF in any program, be it you know Illustrator, Photoshop, InDesign. Um, so you've got the PDF sitting here before you, and it's got a couple of pages, whether it's a, a uh, portfolio or whatever else it is that you you know you might have. But let's say we've got our PDF here, and we want to uh, we want to actually add something to them, and add a PDF, add a PDF, or add a JPEG, or add some other file format or something. Well. What I'm going to do is add a JPEG because I think that being able to add a simple JPEG as opposed to converting the, P the, the JPEG to a PDF is probably the best way to do it because in actually combining it, it's going to automatically turn that JPEG into a PDF. So you don't have to go anywhere else to do that. So the way we're going to do that is when we've got our PDF open inside of Acrobat. We can go up here to combine and then go down to merge files into a single PDF. We can also access that uh, by going up to... Uh, uh, file and combine and then go down to merge files into a single PDF. So either way is going to get us to this window here, this little dialog box. We want to make sure that we put this on the smallest file size if we're going to be viewing it online. And then we're going to go over to add files. When we do that, essentially what we're going to do is get another dialog box that allows us to drive to wherever it is we want to open something. So I'm just going to go over to blog images because I know there's a bunch of JPEGs in there. And I'm going to grab uh, a sketch. And I want to add that sketch to my uh, to my PDF that I've got here, my multi-page PDF. I have a three-page PDF right now. This is page one of three. And I'm going to go ahead and click Add Files. I can do this again if I want to. If I say, gosh, you know, I really want to add another one, I'm going to go ahead and click over here, and click Add Files again. I'm going to grab another file. So I'm going to grab something like the vector here. There we go. And I'm going to click Add File. So now what I've got here is I've got PDF that I originally had. I've got a JPEG and then another JPEG. I'm going to go ahead and move that up. I'm sorry, uh, select it and then click move up. And again, I'm going to select this other JPEG and move it up. That way they're the first two files and you'll be able to see how those, how those work. I'm still going to be at the smallest file size and I'm going to click combine files. While we wait for that to happen, it's going to ask me if I want to save this as a binder to You'll notice immediately Binder 2 opens up here. It's got one, it's this page one of five pages. And I'm going to go ahead and save this to the desktop. And I'm going to let it be called Binder 2, or I might want to call it Throw Away since I'm going to throw this away in a minute. And I'm going to click Save. When it does that, this is automatically going to be called Throw Away. And I'm going to be able to click through these. And that's going to be a fairly small file size. So let's go ahead and click off of that. We can close this other one. And if we come down here somewhere on my desktop here, we'll actually see that it, uh, that, uh, that file, the, the throwaway file, is, uh, is up here on my desktop. So it's actually right there. So we're just going to double click that. And it opens back up just fine. And we can go through all of those images just fine. And I'm just going to go ahead and Select it and press Command I for information, or Control I for my PC. And I can see that all five of those pages that I have there are under one megabyte. It's 881 megabytes. I'm sorry, 881 kilobytes for that file. So it's a fairly small file, and it's doing exactly what it should be doing. So that's great. Everything looks like it's going well, and that's really how you combine files. There's nothing more to it than that. I hope that helps.